Joey, thank you very much. Well, this month is National Pet Dental Month. Just like humans, pets have dental issues too. Dr. Burt Gaddis from the Animal Dental Specialist and our regular Good Day contributor, Dr. Jerome Williams, joins us now to talk about that this month. Good morning. Good to see both of you. Morning. Good morning. Dr. Gaddis used to be a regular too many <laughs> years ago. and the, So good to see you again. Good to see you. All right. So this month is, you said it should be all year long, but to try to get people to pay more attention to their pets' teeth, they designate a month. Yeah, it, it par parallels with humans. The February used to be Human Dental Month or mm -hmm. whatever they would call it. So that was years ago. That's how it kind of ended up in February. It's a slow month for a lot of veterinarians, or used to be. So. And so it gives you an opportunity to, and a lot of places will offer discounts, right, Dr. Williams? Yes, we do, and most, most uh, general practice clinics like myself do, but Dr. Gaddis being a, a veterinary dental specialist, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, uh, every month is... <laughs> Now, cleaning can be done in different ways. Cleaning at, at your office, if it's something minor, they can clean, but... Yes, we do routine dental cleaning as mm -hmm. most human dentists do. We're going to come back to these pictures in just a second and, and tell you about those. So yes. Hang on one second. Um, and so, but then if it's something major, you would take care of something like that. Yes, well, a good proper dental cleaning requires a light general anesthesia, a tube to protect their Because they don't airway. sit there, they don't sit there they, easy. No. Not, not to get below the gum line yeah. and, and do the, the examination that's needed. All right, well let's go back. These are some of the pictures that you right. sent us. So these are yeah. some befores and afters and you guys put them up and we'll see what we're looking at. That that's looks a, terrible. That's a, the right side before any dental cleaning was done. Uh, and, uh, and then there's, uh, there should be an after. Uh, uh, there's a, there's the after, nice clean white teeth. Oh yeah, uh, the teeth look totally different. So they, they clean up nicely. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, that's the other side. Um, so I you know you can't share you know obviously everything about the pets here, but give us an idea of was it just someone who just didn't know and didn't have their dog's teeth cleaned or? A, a lot of times it's that and they, they present because they noticed odor or facial swelling or, or not eating well Aww. or something like that. But a lot of times dogs don't show signs mm -hmm. of, of dental disease until it's, until it's pretty bad. So many times veterinarians like Dr. Williams will notice a lot of uh, problems going on and will send them to me because they know they need dental x-rays in addition mm -hmm. to just the cleaning. Like what would you see, for example, to, to know that you need to send to Dr. Gaddis? One, one of the common things we see is periodontal disease where the gum line is all red and inflamed looking. Uh, so, you know, to treat that properly, then we need a specialist like Dr. Gaddis to evaluate it. And like you said, the dogs can't tell you anything, but you just know they're hurting at some point because they don't want to eat or... You do, or... A couple of weeks after we treat them, a client will call or we'll be rechecking and they'll say, this is a different dog. He's really? eating more quickly, Aww. more interactive with the family, more mm -hmm. active, uh, because that pack mentality, they hide that discomfort. And that's so sad. All right, so it's a good time to just quickly, as we wrap up, what should someone do, an answer from both of you, if, you, if you've never had your dogs checked or you hadn't done it in a while? Lift their lip and look at their teeth. If there's a sandpaper brownish staining like we saw in those first pictures, mm -hmm. see your veterinarian, have them take a look. It's probably time to clean the teeth if you're seeing a lot of that okay. staining. One of the things that I've noticed over the years is if there's pain in the mouth, a dog will attempt to eat and drop the food. They attempt to chew and drop the food. Mm -hmm. If you see them having difficulty chewing, mm -hmm. then certainly get them examined to see what's going on there. Got to take care of those babies. <laughs> All right, Dr. Burt Gaddis, Dr. Jerome Williams, always good to see both of you. Very good today. Yeah, amazing. I know. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you both. Now here's Jay.